Tomorrow's report with Nashton Knowles. Good evening. The headline story tonight is not about war or insurrection, but a very happy one. The Metro Toronto Zoo, rated one of the top ten zoos in the world, has scored another coup. Following their astonishing success in acquiring the ghost tiger, the white rhinoceros, and the visit from China of the giant pandas, they're about to announce the acquisition of one of the rarest creatures in the world. It's a giant gorilla Melamatus africanus. For an on-the-spot report, we switch you to a special holding area at the Metro Zoo and our reporter, Wilma Willoughby. Thanks, Nashon. Well, there's real excitement here at the zoo as various dignitaries have gathered to welcome the giant gorilla Kong. There's the mayor, the chairman of the zoo, the chief of police, and that gentleman is the internationally famous naturalist and zoological expert, Professor Clayton W. Pomerantz of Yale University, the man who led the expedition that found the giant gorilla. Ah, I think the press conference is about to begin. Here's the mayor. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the city council, our distinguished chief of police, and the chairman of the Metro Zoo. If you have any questions, I'm sure Professor Pomerantz here will be glad to answer them. It would be my pleasure. Uh, Professor, 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 Wilma Willoughby of CBC, this gorilla, is it really the biggest of its kind? Oh, absolutely. It is far and away the largest of the species Gorilla Minimatus africanus ever discovered. Oh! oh it is a veritable monster, and I have named him Kong. Kong? Oh. 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 Yes. Henderson of Entertainment Tonight. Where did you capture Kong? Uh, here in southern Kenya, uh, in the foothills of Kilimanjaro. Uh, it's right near a very small village called Mazamazamumba. Muslim, Muslim, Boomba. How, how do you spell that? With two Muslims and one Boomba. <laughs> La chance of Paris Soir. Can you give us a description of this monster? I can do better than that. I can have him brought in here so you can all see him in person. <laughs> I must warn you, everybody stand back. Photographers, no flash guns, please. Bring in... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present my great discovery, Carl. <coughs> <coughs> What in heaven's name is that supposed to be? That's Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, is this some kind of joke? What do you mean? You led us to believe that this animal was a giant. Well, he is for his species. The Minimatus africanus is a pygmy gorilla. They're usually only this tall. He's over five feet. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, this is very embarrassing. It certainly is. <laughs> Professor Pomerantz, we were expecting an enormous beast that would attract big crowds. Well, look at him. We've got chimpanzees bigger than him. <laughs> What you've done? Oh. You, you, you've hurt his feelings. These animals can sense hostility. But this is humiliating. Don't you realize we've built an enormous cage for him? Well, it's, it's 40 feet tall with bars this thick. He can work for an organ grinder. <laughs> Stop it, Tom. Stop it. Tom. Banana. Stop. <laughs> See, you did it again. He did it again. Now, don't do that anymore. I'm running out of bananas. <laughs> oh, what's the use? Men, you may as well take Kong to his new quarters. I do hope this new cage will be roomy. Roomy? 
Are you kidding? We built it for a gorilla 40 feet high. Help! 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 What's the matter? He's escaped! He's escaped! Who's escaped? The gorilla! What? Didn't you put him in that special cage? Yeah, but he walked out right between the bars. I told you we made it for a much bigger gorilla. Good heavens. There's a giant pygmy gorilla loose in the streets of Toronto. Kid Kong. Legend of a mini monster. The story that asks the question, can a simple pygmy gorilla from the jungles of Africa find happiness in a big city? Good evening, Nashton Knowles with the news. Toronto today is a city racked with fear. Three days ago, when Kid Kong, the giant pygmy gorilla, escaped from the zoo, everyone assumed that he would be recaptured easily. Well, today, 72 hours later, Terror stalks the streets as the cunning beast has managed somehow to elude capture. Just a moment, I've been handed a late bulletin. In a desperate move to solve this crisis, the mayor of Toronto has hired the only man in the world who can capture this elusive beast. The legendary adventurer, Captain Fred, bring him back alive, Buckley. Buckley is expected to arrive at City Hall at any moment. You led us to believe this was to be bigger than the pandas. Well, it is going to be bigger than the cans. Baloney! Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Now, I know you're both upset. Upset? Pomeranz promised us a giant gorilla. Well, it is. It's a giant pygmy gorilla. They're usually only this tall. Look, I'm sure when Captain Bring Him Back Alive... Buckley gets here, everything will be straightened out. Well, your intrepid adventurer is certainly taking his time. Well, he's flying in from Kenya. It's a long schlep from Kenya. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I don't believe we need Buckley. The police can catch that, 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 that baboon. It's not a baboon. It's a gorilla minimatus africanus. And you have had three days to catch him. Are we almost had him? We cornered him on Church Street. He ran into Maple Leaf Gardens, mixed with the hockey crowd, and we lost him. <laughs> He's here, Mr. Mayor. He's here. Who's here? Captain Buckley. <laughs> Have no fear. Captain Fred, bring him back alive. Buckley is here. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. of course. <laughs> there you are. Um, and uh, for you, a souvenir of Africa. Oh. Are you married? No. Well, be careful. It's a fertility symbol. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I understand you have a problem. Yes, uh, I am the mayor of Toronto. That is a problem. <laughs> you tried extra strength Tylenol. <laughs> Captain Buckley, we expected you here three days ago. I'm sorry, but on my way out of the jungle, totally unarmed, I was attacked by a herd of ferocious African water buffalo. <laughs> and you weren't killed? Who told you? <laughs> so, you are the famous Captain Fred, bring him back alive, Buckley. Yeah, who are you? I'm the chairman of the zoo. Who brought him back alive? <laughs> uh, well, Captain, can we get down to business? Just a minute. I'll pay off my native bearers and I'll be right with you. Uh, you fellas take Visa and MasterCard? Oh, sure we do. Oh, good. Here you are. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you around. I thought you said they were natives. They are, natives of Toronto. You know the cost to fly in four guys from Nairobi? Not to mention a hassle with immigration? Hey! You better check the left rear. It's low. Well, gentlemen, how can I help you? 
Perhaps the best man to explain our problem is this distinguished gentleman whom I'm sure you know. <laughs> Dr. Pomeranch, I presume. <laughs> You're the famous monkey maven. <laughs> I've been reading your latest scholarly work. Ah, sex and violence among the orangutans. You know what would make a great movie for Clint Eastwood? <laughs> well, let's get down to the Bahula Gazula. That's Swahili for nitty gritty. Thank you. You're welcome. Perhaps it would be better if I filled you in on what's been going on so far. Good idea. I missed the first part of the sketch. Three days ago, mm -hmm. I presented a gorilla to the chairman of the Metro Zoo. Here's his picture. That's the chairman of the Metro Zoo? <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Now, that's the gorilla. The chairman's over there. I find him hard to believe, too. May I continue? Please do. His name is Kong. The chairman of the Metro Zoo? No, the gorilla. Oh. Everything clear so far? I think so. I'm beginning to tell them apart. Now, Kong happens to be a giant Minamatis Africanus. A giant? How big is he? He's well over five feet. That size? Oh, what a monster! You know, they're only usually this high. Tell me about it. <laughs> he doesn't seem uh, very happy. Why should he be? Three days ago, Kong escaped and he's loose in the streets of Toronto. Aha! And you want me to bring him back alive? Exactly. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> don't, uh, don't be overconfident, Buckley. The Minamatis Africanus is a very clever animal. Are you suggesting that he has superior intelligence? Why, he's as smart as I am. That doesn't answer my question. <laughs> Powdered rhinoceros horn. I understand that's an aphrodisiac. I hope so. Mr. Mayor, they got him. They captured Kong. Oh, was that? The police caught him. Thank heaven. <laughs> Good work, men. I'm walking through a shopping center. All right. Stand back, everybody. I've got a tranquilizer dart in here. Open it up. Uh. That's no gorilla. That's my wife. <laughs> you think you'd hear a line like that on this show? Henry, I have never been so insulted in my life. Mr. Mayor, I'm going to sue the city. I'll say one thing. Your wife has a lovely skin. Look, gentlemen, we're wasting time. There's a priceless animal loose in the streets. Well, Captain, it's up to you. Bring him back alive. Okay, Mayor. I'd like to board your office as a command post. Certainly. Chief, I need wheels, helicopters, and walkie-talkies. Right. And uh, a large map of the city of Toronto. Oh, yes, and a beautiful woman. What do you want her for? Oh, I'll think of something. <laughs> yeah. Buckley, your wheels are outside. Right, thank you. Oh, Professor, would you like to join me? Certainly. In that case, make it two beautiful women. <laughs> well, gentlemen, it's time for Operation Gorilla Hunt. I suggest we synchronize our watches. <clears throat> I'm exactly seven minutes to three. I've got five minutes to three. I'm six minutes to three. I'm a quarter after 11. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm still in Nairobi time. <laughs> well, who cares? The monkey doesn't have a watch anyway. <laughs> well, Professor, shall we go? Certainly. We'll be back in a moment with Act Two. That's funny. I'm Act Three. 